Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Poland. We are currently fighting a lot of people because we attacked Spain and that means we are also fighting Great Britain and some smaller guys over here. I am counting on our subjects to do most of the fighting, at least in Europe. I did send an army to London but it proved to be too weak. Well, I should have known really. Should probably build more troops. We do have the money, we have a ton of money. We could get mercenaries. Yeah, I think we actually need to build up our forces. So I should probably build use the army builder. So how much of everything do we want? Let's take that much. Wait a minute, what is our force limit at the moment? Uh, yeah, we can, we can do that. Maybe more cannons. Like that, that'll be better. Um, all the provinces you need. Template name, something, something, something. Yeah. And you guys just gather in the capital. It'll take them a lot of time to build and get there, but we have the time. So for now, I want to get this army off Kent, because otherwise it might get wiped. So yeah, I was waiting for this to finish. Now we can move the ship to port, attach to the ship and move to France. Here you will safely recover and I can blockade London just to be a dick. And in the meantime we'll build up a huge army and siege of Great Britain. So, continuing. Our army is ready to conquer the colonial stuff. Uh, let's give you our prince, who we want dead, and start attacking. Uh, Battle of Naisha. Oh right, we have a small army over here, I forgot. Yeah, you were supposed to go and siege the colonies, weren't you? Uh, Peru treasure fleet arrived. Good. Not very newsworthy, but still, good. I would like to get this personal union with Hungary. Well, they are still at war. Oh, no, no point checking it now. Uh, let's go to the fort map mode. Oh, there's a fort here and we lost it already. Right, so this will be easy to siege. They don't really have forts here. We'll come through here, taking everything. Yeah, that'll be relatively easy. Oh, well, there's our colonial nation, which is actually doing some great work, some great work, but they will need our help. Right, I do hope that France is actually doing stuff. No, no, they're not. Just standing here. Oh, how stupid can you be? Okay, let's uh, point them to here. I'll just. Give them some targets. Maybe that maybe that will be sufficient for them to actually move out. Tariffs too high. Polish Canada. Um, do we care about your liberty desire? What is your liberty desire, Polish Canada? Um, Seven percent. That's not a lot. Okay. You know what? Let's reduce it. The tariffs will go back to the rel to the regular mm, value. Okay, we won a battle. Good. Now it is time to detach some uh, troops to siege stuff. This is a fort level of a total of three, so that needs nine thousand people. So we need nine regiments. And there's a fort here. It doesn't have anything, so it only needs 3,000 regiments. <clears throat> One, two, three. We can go over here. And you guys should probably be split between all the other princes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's do that. Um, not you. 
like that. Six armies, perfect. The smaller ones go over here. That'll be they will be done in no time. And then we will move them further, but for for now you just take over all of this. Possibly wipe the enemy army on the way. No, nope, they run they run further. <coughs> I suppose I can detach a siege here, can I? I actually can, good. Oh, because it's just two, it's not a capital. Good. Yeah, so let's detach sieges everywhere and move the rest over here. I mean, we will have finished those sieges very soon, so I could wait. But I can just as well do it right now. Okay, anything else to worry about? Hungary's still... Mm, Eligible to f mm, become a personal union under us. Yeah, lots of stuff happening. Portugal will probably be taking this soon. But they are our next target. Probably. When we're done with Great Britain and Spain. So yeah, I will probably take all of that. Let me see how much I could take. Uh, can they sign a separate peace? Probably not. No. Just checking. Oh, we don't have a diplomat. Of course we don't. Uh, give me the French one back. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, and we are spending a ton of money on armies and advisors. Poland occupied Patel. Good. We will be taking those armies um, soon, but let's just wait for all of them to be done so we can do it in bulk. And we have the Diplomat free, so theoretically, how much can we take? How much War Squad does it cost? Well, I do anticipate that we will be able to take all of this, this, and about half of that. Probably. Maybe some other stuff, if we siege it. We could take stuff in Africa, I suppose. They would need to core that. Maybe it's better to just take over this area. Okay, continuing. Poland occupied Chapas. Uh, let me see the colonial regions for for a little while. Yeah, we do have colonial nations here, so we can just freely take this land. We won't even need to court ourselves. Do your thing. Right, I should probably get back to Europe right now. Because things here are under control, mostly. France is finally moving in. Good. And how is our beautiful army? Almost ready. I think I'll actually move them straight over here. No, you can't. Straight over here. And from there you will group and attack. Now, who should I send first? Or should I just send them together? Let's just send them together. They will suffer some attrition here. I am prepared for that eventuality, and I should probably consolidate this army. Yeah. Mm, do they still have the move order? Probably not. Yeah, they still have the move order. Right. So this will be ours, and we have completed most of the sieges, I mean the ones that don't have forts, obviously. Let's just gather our armies here, regroup a little bit. Oh, and you started a new colony, how nice. I'm, I will be taking that. Thank you very much. Also, um, yeah, this will take some time to siege. Let's send the other one here. Just so we can choose the perfect moment to take the province over. And it will be ours immediately. Is this a colony? No. No. None of those are colonies. Where else could you have colonies? Well, a bunch of places, but let's not worry about it. Okay, great. Oh, of course, there are some natives here. Well, I suppose I could send a colonist. No, no, we're not doing too good on cash. Hungary's still eligible. Good. Okay, good. Some free people influence. We will use that to buy stability when we gather enough. 
Actually, I do have a free diplomat. I should be improving relations with the Pope, so we get more papal influence. Oh, Croatia, are you still at war? Yes, that's a pity. <coughs> Continuing. This will all be ours. Soon. Okay, we have uh, more or less regrouped. Should probably leave one regiment of infantry in the colony. So that we can take it when the time comes. 40 colonial growth only. Oh, that's pathetic. Oh, because of the Treaty of Tordesillas, of course. We have claimed the region. Right, you guys. How should I distribute you? None of those provinces have... Let's split this a little bit. None of those provinces have four, so I will be sending... 1,000 everywhere. Oh, 1,000 something. Just leave a regiment everywhere while you go, and they will join you a bit later. Perfect. Right, and pausing. How is our army? Taking attrition. Yeah, we don't have manpower. I do need more manpower. You guys need to go to port here. And I will manage the army. Mm, who are you? Just some cannons. Yeah, let's wait for them. Just for those. Right. Uh, how many transport ships here? 51. That will not be enough. I'll just... Um, 51, right? Oh, I have another transport fleet, but I left it in America. Uh, okay, that's 36 plus 8 plus 7, that's plus 15. That's, that is exactly 51. Great. Uh, let's give you a leader. And this time, London shall fall. Perfect. <coughs> That is gonna work. And the other army... I mean, I could send them to Spain, but I am counting on France to do the work. Yeah. We'll just take care of Britain. We'll be starting from two or three separate sides. Should send the other troops to Scotland. Good. Can I detach and move from here? I cannot move from here. I am locked. I did expect that. But I did send a big army so that they can, you know, be safe. Right, back to America for now. Most of this has been sieged already. The rest cannot be sieged because of insufficient forces. And you guys can move on. Can move on over here. And help our troops, which uh, that are going to be attacked probably soon by British Columbia. Oh, and we can actually take you and you as well. Now we need to keep one unit here so that they can, you know, take over the colony. I will send them though because they have less troops and we don't need many troops for that. Okay, take you as well. March. Treasure fleet arrived. Good. We do need the cash. And we can take military technology, which is perfect because we can get more combat with. We have lost the Siege of Meath. I will actually upgrade the cannon, cannon because we're not fighting at the moment, and it will be more efficient. Hmm. Should I take all of them? Probably should take all of them. Let's just move to Orkney. Yeah, that'll work. Holstein enter co entered the coalition. We don't give it. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> okay, manage overextension. Almost done. I'd like to increase stability by it. I don't want to spend points on that. I would like to take the idea, but I need to keep up on Diplotech, unfortunately. Okay, what did we occupy? This. Move. Move out. And we don't really have enough troops to fight them. 
Might actually need to bring some more from Europe. Nicaragua. Perfect. All of this is taken. Just make sure we take everyone. Yeah, let's just regroup them here. We should be able to kill them together, but I don't know what our subject will do. They occupied Ulster. Congratulations! Oh, you know what? I should block them in the strait. I won't make it in time. Uh, oh well. I am in Orkney, so that is too far. But I can snipe their fleet. They have 13 heavies, though. Will my fleet be enough? It will if I upgrade all the ships. I will upgrade all the ships. It will take them almost a year to repair. They can stay in port and do that. You guys, go and do your thing. Now, once the ships are up, those sh ships are upgraded, I should probably use them to send some more troops to America. In the meantime, France is finally doing something right. I wonder, will they get the malice uh, to relations for not giving them occupied claims? Well, they are a subject, they shouldn't. Hmm. I suppose we'll see very soon, because I'm not gonna give them anything. Right. So you guys are ready to attack. Oh crap, I didn't notice. Our subjects were fighting and we didn't help. Oh well. They do have lowered morale now, so we should we should win this relatively easily, and we are winning. Great. <coughs> I just hope my air dies. Oh crap. What? Lost the Battle of Orkney. With 40,000 men. And now you will take this over and my, for and my fleet will be forced out of the port, really? Well, they are damaged, but it's a huge fleet. I, I wonder what will happen. I suppose I could give you an admiral. That should change things a little bit. Now they're running away. Hmm. Maybe leaving them there without a general was not the best idea. But I do sometimes have not, you know, very good ideas. So yeah, not, now we will move into British Columbia. Do they only have two forts? I think so. Let's just wait until everybody gets here. How big is this fort? Oh, quite big. Yes, let people sample new religions. How long until this fort falls? I wonder. Yeah, treasure fleet's always nice. They took Orkney and our fleet needs to go and repair. Well, they shouldn't stand a chance against this army, though. They could even assault. We have such a great advantage in numbers. But we do have a ton of cannons, so that should be over quickly anyway. Uh, colony self-sustaining... Yeah, great. And I will not start a new one. Oh, I will start a new one, because how do we only have three colonies where I have four colonists being used up? Oh, of course, one is traveling. Yeah, I will recall the guy. Wait a minute. Let's wait. No. I will recall the guy and send him elsewhere. But where should I send him? Should I focus on the coast? Probably should focus on the coast. So that nobody can, you know, get in here. Possibly one more colonist. Yeah. Let's recall this guy. Send him over here. Hope that nobody destroys our colony in the meantime. So, yeah, Peru is actually taking stuff, which is good. I will want this in the peace deal as well. For now, let's focus on piecing out Great Britain. Once we have taken over all the colonial stuff, we will have a much easier time in doing, you know, other things. Yeah, let's split you guys up. No, that was not very wise. Okay, let's merge you and split you into three groups. Two units each. 
Now leave the biggest army, and you can siege three places at once. Like that. Perfect. Yeah, the Caribbean are all Portuguese, so we don't need anything there right now. But we will take them at some point. Fur will be produced. Whatever. Liege. Mm. Yeah, the British actually have some trouble with um, rebels at the same time. I did lose a ton of cannons, so that really hurt. Should have been more careful. Hmm. Now I should probably save it. Save the points for peace deals and diplomatic technology. Oh, Britain is actually controlling the Pope. They could excommunicate me. No, they couldn't. We have, we have great relations with the Pope. Austria, would you be my friend? If I were not at war, you would. Good. And we have occupied something. Uh, can we move there? Right. We could, so let's just go here instead. Just move gradually. Okay, not here. Here. That'll be better. Also, you move to Koro. Yeah, that'll, that is gonna take a long time. Oh, they took one of our colonies. Well, we do intend to take Spanish Brazil as well, but I believe we will need more forces for that. I suppose I could get mercenaries. We don't have any manpower anyway. Oh, I can't get mercenaries in the new world, really. Oh well. We'll just have to get them in our homeland. And ferry them over. Yeah, Eastern Tersio. You know, well, you can have cannons as well, and two cavalry. We are swimming in cash. Yeah, this army should be enough to take over all of Great Britain. And the rest, together with this unit, let's move it here immediately. We'll go to the New World to help in our conquest campaign. Right, that'll be good. Um, our heir still hasn't died, which is a pity. I do hope he kicks the bucket soon. Well, we are sending him to battle all the time, so... Oh, wait a minute, what's that? Spanish Brazil is attacking. We need to concentrate all our forces, especially uh, the general, who is quite far away. Let's hope he gets there in time for battle. Because we do need his expertise, and we do need the chance of him dying. Uh, they do... do they get a... wait a minute. How is this going? Not too well. <clears throat> we don't have a leader. We have better morale, they have better tactics, so the standard... The standard situation. And we have too much cover. Okay, we're gonna lose that. We should probably run away. Just so we don't lose the army. Oh, wait a minute. I was not paying attention to the colonies. I sh Crap. I'm too late. I am not too late here, though. Seize colony. Wait, is this still a colony? Oh, crap. Yeah, I was too late. The army survived, so there's something to be happy about. And they will get reinforcements soon. As soon as they're ready. Which is now. We did lose some ships, actually. Which is a pity. But not a big problem. How's London pulling up? Not too well. The colony is self-sustaining. Great. Uh, give me another colony colonist to do stuff with. For example here. Monopoly company formed. Trade efficiency increase or straight up money? I want more trade efficiency and especially more diplo power. Power points are worth much more to me at the moment. Siege of London is over, finally. So where do we go from here? And the next fort is Norfolk. Okay, I should probably detach some sieges for the other provinces and go for Norfolk. So, one, two, three, four. You know what, I should probably be doing double. Yeah, let's do double. Because we don't have the manpower for reinforcements. So if any of them die, the sieges would be paused. 
So, two units everywhere. Can I detach a siege of Norfolk and move on? I could. But is it going to be problematic when it comes to facing the enemy? Yes, it is going to be problematic when it comes to facing the enemy. So let's just stay in Oxfordshire from whence we can reach every place. If you're going for this army, let's retreat it. Oh, perfect. That is actually perfect. They are fighting the pretender rebels. They will most likely lose. I will move there and destroy the loser, the winner, destroy the winner, which is the rebel army, so maybe I should leave them alone. You know what, whoever wins, no, I think the British will win, but then we will wipe them, or at least hurt them really, really bad, like the Joker. Okay, conversion successful, which is nice because we get bonus papal influence. Another missionary, and we cannot become the defender of the faith because the ruler is female, which is a bit unfortunate. But there's that's religion for you. Equal rights are not their favorite thing. Okay, let's just visit some ports on the way so we don't die. I mean, this navy is probably too advanced to have any trouble with that, but. Yeah, we'll take care of this area soon. For now, we're moving south. We're moving south over here. Yeah, and you guys, when you're done running away, you will go there as well. Yeah, I would like to take the idea group, but still, yeah, we do need to maintain our technology. Culture and conversion cost has been decreased. I do not know what it has to do with trading in fish, but I do welcome a decrease in cost of anything. Right. Oh, this is gonna be so beautiful. Let me see that. We might even wipe them both, because we could immediately wipe the winner and then chase the loser. I hope um, the British win, so we can just wipe them. If they lose, we can chase them. And wipe them. The rebels have a much higher morale. It's very high morale. British pretender rebels have super high morale. Are they gonna lose or are they not gonna lose? Let's see. This is very close. Okay. The British won. Oh, wait, allies lost. They're not really our allies. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Can we wipe the British? He wiped the British. We didn't, but we did hurt them quite badly. Um, I could follow them up there. Now let's just focus on this area. Detach a siege. And move here. Natives rising. Mm, doesn't matter really. Uh, where is my transport fleet? Because the automatic transport thing ch sometimes disables fleet movement. Unless it was using this fleet. Oh well. And we lost some but mm, We won a um, battle. Great, so let's take those guys and actually help our guys against the Spanish a little bit. In the meantime, you are still sie sieging. Let's just assault this because it's taking too much time. Great. And how is this colony doing? Uh, it is far from being ready. So you guys can move here and merge with the armies that are coming. And where is our where is our bloody air? Uh, he ran away south. Oh well. Yeah, we will just send him back into the fray. Hope he dies. Based in India, nothing new here. Oh, Norwegian separatists, really. Orkney, I should probably increase autonomy there. I don't want to be dealing with, with rebels right now. Orkney is... Oh, Orkney is uh, actually occupied by the enemy. Yeah, I will just increase autonomy here. It's poor land anyway. 
We won't have to deal with rebels at least. Yeah, the Norwegian separatists. Um, it is under British control, so that's why the revolt risk is so high. Okay then, um, yeah, detach some sieges. Where can I move from here? Can I move here? No, 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 no. No automatic transport, thank you. One, two, three, four. No. It's four. Four provinces. We'll just leave a troop everywhere. Oh, we cannot move there. Well, doesn't matter. We will be fine anyway. And I will send those troops over here so they can help. Yeah, it will take some time to, you know, siege all of Great Britain, but... I suppose this is a French core. I could return it. No, France is quite unruly already. Best not to make them more powerful. Yeah, 44 liberty desire. That is pretty, pretty high. They do trust us a bit more. Maybe if we gave them stuff, they would trust us more. Don't really know that. I don't know everything about the game. <laughs> oh, and it's time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and in the next one we will still be waging this war, which is pretty big. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.